How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It is Reese Beno here, also known as Resaliate, guys. Today, I'm bringing you another story video. So every Sunday, guys, if you guys don't already know, I release a story on this channel simply just because I think they're a little bit fun to tell you guys kind of fun experiences that have happened in my life. I found that Luna's videos are very interesting, so I'm basically copying Luna. Anyway, what we're going to be talking about today, guys, is the first time I ever tried Adderall, also known as Vyvanse, or there's plenty of other brands that people use, but you guys probably know them as Adderall, aka the focus drug, the drug that helps you focus on things. For example, I use Adderall to write bangers. If you guys don't already know, I make music, guys. It's in the description down below. I have a YouTube channel where I make music, music videos. I actually rap, sing, and make hip-hop. So before we do hop in the video, I would ask that you guys please do subscribe to that channel or check me out on Spotify, iTunes, or SoundCloud, wherever you guys do listen to your music. I guarantee you will enjoy it. Link is in the description. All right, guys, but jumping into the story, we go back to sophomore year in high school, guys. If you guys don't already know, I'm a senior, so I mean, it really wasn't that long ago. About two years ago, this happened. And um, so back, this was back in my prime of, you know, being an absolute idiot. Um, back in this time, I thought it would be a good idea to go right at like 8 a.m. in the morning where I got a text from this kid who said, hey, do you want to try Adderall? Because I'm selling some. And I was like, you know, yeah, I would like to do that. You know, it's 8 a.m. I've never tried this drug. It sounds like a good time, you know. You know, in the moment, it sounded like a good plan. So I decided, all right, great. I'll drive over to his house, I'll pick up the Adderall, I'll take it, and then boom, bang, we'll see how it is. Because I've always known guys that I have ADHD, I always had a feeling, because my whole family has it, my brother, sister, mom, and dad, but I've never thought I had it, but I well, I never knew I had it, but I, I did have it, and um, so I wanted to try Adderall to see if it would help me. And so yeah, I go over to this man's house, and I get there, and he's like, you know, five bucks for two. And I was like, well, alright, sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So I gave him five bucks, I took one. And then I put the other one in my car. I thought, you know, I'll just leave it in here, you know. I don't want it right now. I don't want to take two of them. So I didn't take it. So I left it in my car. I go to school. And, you know, it was great. I was like, dude, I'm focused. I started writing music. I was like, dude, I'm on fire. It was absolutely amazing. But until the one thing that just, it just, it's just my luck. It's what it was. So I get to class, right? And next thing I know, I get a call from my friend, bro. The drug dog is at your car. I'm like, bro, you're lying, okay? There's no drug dog, okay? Okay, he was like, dude, no, I swear to God, do you, have, do you have weed? I was like, no. I brought an Adderall, though. He was like, bro, you're fucked. I was like, all right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. So next thing I know, I'm getting called down to the office by Miss Shake, a.k.a. our vice principal. Shout out, Miss Shake, I love you now, but back in the day, she was rude. Anyway, so I go down to the office, and she's like, bring your keys with you. I was like, all right, it's an L. So we get halfway out there, and she's like, you know, the drug dog suspected there was drugs in your car. And I said, you know what? I'm going to just let you guys know in advance. I do have an Adderall in there. I am prescribed. So that's probably what it smells. And she goes, okay, great. That's probably what it is then. Let's go get it. I go, oh, okay. All right. I guess we're going. I was trying to, you know, be slick. Like, you know, I'll tell them what's in there so they won't make me go get it. But, you know, it was really sophomore Reese Beno thinking he was smart. He was not. Anyway, so, guys, we head out to the car. It's me, my vice principal, a cute little drug dog who I freaking hate because he effed me over, and the lady holding the drug dog. So we get to my car, and I unlock it, and she basically tells me she has to search the car, that I can't just go get the Adderall. So she goes and searches my car. She finds it. And since I didn't have it in a prescription bottle that said Reese Beno on it, they basically called my mom and got me an ISS for three days. Long story short, that's what happened. And it's very annoying because I'm kind of like, dog, it's a one Adderall. The one time I ever was to do it, the first time I ever tried Adderall, the drug dog comes, gets it out of my car, gets me in trouble, gives me three days of ISS for literally having one single Adderall in my car. Plus, literally a month after that, I got prescribed Vyvanse for my ADHD. So just, just overall, not a good situation. It was just, it was annoying, all right? That's all I gotta say, okay? It was not good. Miss Shake, me and you have definitely had some uh, some good memories back at the New Tech High School of Coppell. But um, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash it off a like. Um, I just like telling you guys these stories. I think they're a lot of fun. I think it's interesting. And uh, I think it's cool to kind of get to know you guys. So guys, like I said, if you want to listen to any of my music, it's down in the description. iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. Um, if you listen on YouTube as well, 
Um, I have a bunch of music videos over on my music channel. So, guys, be sure to click the link down in the description to check that out. And, guys, without further ado, be sure to subscribe to both channels, subscribe to the music, and uh, be ready for the next Storytime Sunday. Uh, it's a Tuesday now, which means we only got five days to wait. Hey, instead of seven, it's good news. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.